Hey everybody, welcome back to Durban's Bourbon. I'm Joe. And I'm Josh. Today we're going to be doing a review of McCall the McAllen uh, Fine Oak Triple Cask Matured. It's uh, 43% ABV. The unique thing about McAllen, I know it's a really popular whiskey out there. You hear a lot about it. Um, this one is, it's aged in three different types of casks. Uh, so it should impart some unique flavors. We tried it when Josh first got it quite a while ago and we weren't super impressed, but it's been quite some time, so we're gonna try it again. Uh, like I said, 43% ABV, three different casks, European oak that has um, finished with sherry, so it's a sherry cask of European oak, and then they put the whiskey in. Then they age it in another cask that's American oak, that they use for sherry aging. And then the last cask that they finish it out, this is a 15 year whiskey. They finish it out with the typical American bourbon casks. So there should be some unique flavors coming from the European oak, the American oak with the sherry influence and then the American bourbon. So we've got that bourbon influence. So there's a lot going on with the types of cask maturation, so we'll see yeah, what I'm it tastes like. I'm interested to try it because it's yeah. been a few, at least couple, couple years. Yeah, maybe I'm wondering. Yeah. Yeah. Tried it. So we'll see what we've got. It has a nice color. Yeah. Oh, also another fun fact with this McAllen, it is, um, it has no additional colors, so it is the the regular color that it came out of the cask. So they don't have any of the caramel color, which is the only thing. Uh, Scotch whiskey is permitted by their law. They can add caramel coloring. I think it's called like E150A or something caramel color So this has none of that. I don't recall if it was chill filtered or not. I don't think it is so Let's see what we get on the nose I get, I get the uh, apple, but it's more like a mm -hmm. not a super tart more like a maybe a red apple cinnamon I get a lot of the uh, red wine. Yeah. You know, if yeah, you were to I'm, take yeah. a whiff of a, a nice red wine, um, that that influence. Definitely can see yeah, how you can smell the barrel. Oh, yeah. The vanillas mm -hmm. and the... It's got a good nose. It does. I really, it's really, it really does have that, uh, that wine characteristic from those two different types of butts that it's aged in, the European and the American sherry butts. Kind of reminds me of that. Don't you have that Glenlivet Nadura or something that's aged yeah. in sherry? I think, it, yeah. That's got or a little bit of that. finished in sherry casks. I get caramel and vanilla, and, but it's not heavy. It's like yeah, hints of everything. Is. Yeah, it's pretty, uh, has a little bit going on. It's kind of complex. Yeah. Good color. I wonder why I didn't like it that much before. I don't know. We just started. Probably because I just like bourbon. <laughs> Possibly. Yeah, that's, because there for a while you were like, nah, yeah, Scott, Scott, forget it. Fifteen years, so it's had some time yeah. aging. McAllen is such a big label. Yeah. People are like, they go crazy over McAllen and. I'm surprised I don't have any added. Well, you have it in your collection, yeah. so it is a Highland whiskey, <clears throat> so uh, it shouldn't have a lot of those peat, really strong peat characteristics that we get from the Islas. Right. I think I got the there was like a ten year or something that they have that's not so spendy. Mm -hmm. I want to say I had that, or I bought it somewhere. Did you? Like I think it? I went when I was snowboarding or something. Maybe. What was the price on that? Do you remember? Yeah, it was one. Like 105. Oh, really? But it was on sale when I bought it. It was like $10 off. So I think it was oh, 95 There you go. And I had some, I got like a, I think I had some, like a birthday, you know, birthday money or some something weird I got. And so I just was like, oh, it's, it's like free, free whiskey. Free booze. So he bought it. <laughs> so a good I bought one. it, yeah. And that was a, I think that was the first expensive one I bought. That was yeah. over 50 bucks. I think it was. Because I remember you texting me saying, look what I got. I spent some I money. with me. Was I? Yeah. You're supposed to be my voice of reason. Oh, You're like, no, I dude, failed. you should buy it. Buy it. <laughs> I do like the nose. Yeah, it smells really good. 
Very fruity. Should we try yeah. it? Okay. Cheers. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. That's pleasant. That's really good. You get like the cinnamon. Mm hmm. It's like cinnamon and caramel mixed together, like candy. Mm hmm. It was very sweet mm -hmm. on the palate. That initial, the initial taste was really fruity. Yeah. Um, it almost, it almost felt kind of wine like that first sip. I haven't had wine in so long. I don't even. Wow, that's really good. That's super good. Hmm. Yeah. Well, I'm glad I saved it. Yeah, no kidding. Me too. Um, it's very easy on the palate, 43 ABV, so it's not a real high alcohol proof, but it's not that bottom 80 proof that typical scotches, there's so many of them out there. I think a lot of scotches, uh, they could do, they would be better, in my opinion, if they had a little higher ABV. Yeah, instead of just being 80. Yeah. And you hear that a lot on a, a lot of the other channels. They'll say this would be even better if it had a higher ABV. So yeah, that's kind of they brought it up a little. Got a really good flavor. Mm -hmm. I like it a it's lot. It's very smooth, kind of buttery. It's very you get a little bit of orange, not like orange peel, but more like deep orange, like maybe the, like arm, orange marmalade. Yeah, mm -hmm. I could see that. Yeah, I could. Yeah, not not super tart, like sweet orange, you know, not that. You get that on the nose, too, mm -hmm. now. Yeah, I would, orange marmalade for me, that I could see that. I gotta say it, orange. Orange, orange, orange marmalade. marmalade. Yep, red fruits, that orange. I'm not getting a lot of the vanilla though. No. You were saying you had some vanilla and I'm really not. I got it on the nose, but not, it's more um, caramel on the palate. I don't know why I get that caramel. I think caramel because it's like smooth. It's Maybe. a smooth sweetness. It's not like a, Okay. I don't know. There's something about that, you know. Maybe it's because I saw you had those caramel candies up there. <laughs> Maybe it influenced. <laughs> I just could picture them melting on my tongue. Oh, that's that velvety, mm -hmm. buttery that I get. Yeah. I get buttery. As a as a nuance or a, a profile, and you get caramel mm -hmm. that that smooth palate feel. It lingers on the palate a little bit. I can still taste it. Yeah, um, it's a little dry. A little bit. I'm probably. I would think that's probably from the wine. That maybe. wine influence, maybe, because some wines, you know, how they're really dry. Might be picking that up. That's a nice whiskey. Mm, delicious. Way better than. I remember, but Years but when ago. I first got this, I didn't like Highland whiskeys. No, you didn't. You were. I just wanted it because the label right. said Macallan, and it was expensive, and I had the money. Right. And the lady at the liquor store, like, out of, they had some tasting, and she said, out of all of them, even the couple hundred dollar ones she tried, she said that was her favorite. And she was like, I'm not even a whiskey drinker, so I thought, oh, I'll get it. That's a good. And I, didn't, I didn't much like it, but it is super good. I'm glad I saved that. Man. I said that in there. Yeah, I'm glad you did too. Not that I'd pour it out, but I'm glad I didn't drink it all. Yeah. <laughs> it's been, it has been it's about been three years. years. I yeah. bought it about three years ago. And, and that's pretty good it. for it <laughs> three <change>. years. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> and you know, maybe a little oxid oxidation yeah. helped it. When I've opened up my you know, my mind a little bit too about yeah, just trying new things. Um, one of our subscribers out there asked about Kentucky Owl. I haven't forgot about it. We'll probably be doing that one pretty soon. Cool, because a good uh, one. They were out there. When are you gonna do that, Kentucky Owl? So I did make. I think we talked on the comments, and I said it'd be coming up pretty soon. So. Josh wanted to bring one over from his place and, and kind of surprise me. I said, man, whatever, grab something. And he did. I was thinking it was going to be Glenn Farkless. I don't have I really any Glenn, Glenn Farkless. I thought you did. Oh, you always Glenn buy that. Livet. I'm Glenn Livet I have Glenn Livett. I have Glenn Fittick. 
or Glenfiddich. Glenfiddich. Okay, that's what Fiddich. it was. 15, I have that one. That's it. I was on the fence with those two, but then I thought, I really want to try this one again. Yeah, good choice. Really good choice. This doesn't become in Speyside, Scotland. Yeah. Hmm. I like that triple cask. I think it that's... added a lot of character to it on the nose and the palate. It, rem it reminds I... me a little of the yellow spot. A little bit. Yeah. Because it has that wood yep. more. Um... You get a little bit of that cask influence. Mm -hmm. Bourbon-y. But, but sweet some... fruit influence. And the different fruit influence, like your grape, and then that orange. It's got it, it's pretty. It's somewhat complex, actually. It is a little bit of. You know, once I when we first smelled that, I was like, "Ooh, this is way more complex than I remember." Yeah. Man, maybe I'm growing as a whiskey enthusiast. That's all I need. I win the lottery. I, <laughs> I would say that is a really exceptional whiskey. Mm -hmm. I wonder how I much could, it is now. I don't know. That's tasty. Mm -hmm. I would recommend it, everybody. Absolutely. For sure. Except we don't know how much it is, but no. it's probably, I bet 120. Yeah, probably here. in that ballpark in our area. I would imagine if it was one, I think it was 105 three years ago. Mm hmm. Damn. Yeah. Something like that. Good whiskey. Very Delicious. good. Delicious. Very good scotch. Um, there are different scotches, so we've talked about the uh, Islays and the Speysides and the Highlands and all that. They all have their own characteristics, depending on what the maturation is, too. So I'd give it a thumbs up for sure. Absolutely. Uh, we really appreciate our subscriber counts climbing. We're getting up there. We really appreciate the comments of you all out there and uh, enjoying our channel. And we hope to keep growing, and we appreciate it. So as always, enjoy your whiskey or bourbons any, any way you like. like. Cheers, everybody. Cheers.